Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make um, some better LEGO weapons. So first up, you get this spear, uh, and this axe head, and, you know, just simply like that, you can make one of those axe spears, because I know not everyone has them, I don't, so, that's just, you know, it's a cool way. You can make your own, you can do matching colors, or you can use a different color, if you want to do that. Alright, next up isn't really a custom. It's just um, these two, this elven knife and this Chima sword. I just thought because they're both gold, they could be like a cool duo for some mystical fantasy world if you were making a mock like that or something. You know, like laying on a stone inside a cave. But, I don't know. I just thought I'd show you that. Uh, next up, you get these four pieces. A one by two. I don't know why this isn't focusing. Anyway, a one by two, this little space gun, I guess, I don't know, a transparent red head and a telescope. And if you just sort of do it like this, it looks like um just like a late like a blaster gun, as if this is powering it, something from like despicable me almost. And I I mean if you did like a purple head, uh, I was thinking it could be sort of like fantasy world again but you know one of those fantasy worlds where it's half swords half guns half like you know as if there was monsters and stuff but they still use technology anyway I don't know what Susan there here you go I just thought that was cool um, next up is this one this is one of my favorites it's using one of these tiny Star Wars blasters and if you just so if you just Put that on the back, and then one of those studs with a hole in it on the front. There you go. I just thought that looked pretty nice. It's like a custom long rifle. It could be something. I think it would look well in a Star Wars desert mock with some, you know, sand troopers. You know, it looks well as a Star Wars gun, I think, but also just not bad as. I don't know, a rifle sort of thing. I don't know. I just thought it looked pretty nice. Alright, next up, use one of these blaster guns from Star Wars again. Different kind of blaster, you know, the stud shooters that Lego made. And what I was doing was, so you get one of these. And I don't know what you call these. You do like that. And then you add, like, one inside it. Oh my golly. Nothing's focused. Like that. And that looks kind of cool on its own. And the best bit, well, the next bit anyway, I don't know if it's the best. You do like this. And now it, the axe, or the hammer or whatever, looks like the kind of thing you put over your shoulder. I use this guy here. You can see, it's a bit big, but... All the same. Pew pew. Alright, and then this is the last one I have today. Um, so, not this one, the next one. Like, So, this is it. So you get one of these long Star Wars rifles, blasters, whatever. It's pretty simple. Just attach this. And then you add... In a... Probably illegal method because it's only on half or I don't know anyway like this I use this in so much stop motions gives it like an extra handle and if you move it along you can you know you can put it up here if you want I don't know whatever works for you I like putting it sideways sort of right in front of the trigger and then this bit just adds a sort of space agey thing as if it's like it doesn't shoot bullets it doesn't shoot lasers it shoots some like energy and the like I don't, I don't know why it's not focusing, but like there's, if you're, if you're familiar with these pieces, there's like a little indent at the front where you'd attach it to another Technic piece or whatever. And it just helps it bring it together. So yeah, that's the, that's this, I guess, six different weapons. You got Medieval, Fantasy, Star Wars, and just general. So yeah, tell me what your favorite was, and thanks for watching. See you later.